How are you? Man, I'm so thrilled to be here. I love the Angular community. So let me take you back a couple of years ago to my last job in downtown Portland. And I'm on a walk with my boss, Shane, uh, on one of our famous walking one-on-ones downtown. And before you say anything, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Sam, I've seen Portlandia. I can totally picture this. And you know what? It's exactly what you're thinking. First of all, we work for a renewable energy nonprofit. I'm not making this up. Uh, yeah. Shane is wearing head to toe Columbia outdoor wear and holding his signature iced coffee. And I am wearing, what else? Flannel. So today on this walk, we're talking about the same thing that we've talked about for our last 50 one on ones the upgrade situation. More specifically today, how do we convince the business to upgrade from AngularJS to Angular? How do we convince them of something that, if we do our jobs right, the users probably will never know the difference? And project managers love this, right? You're telling me that if I spend tens of thousands of dollars and hundreds of hours, that my app is basically going to look the same? What? <laughs> So on this walk, I've just come back from NGConf 2017. Yes, this very conference two years ago. Miss you, Shai and Alyssa. And uh, I arrived feeling just like that panda, like super frustrated that I couldn't figure out the migration path. Luckily, I was able to go to Joe's NG Upgrade Workshop and Awesome's talk on gradual migration. And I was able to talk to a lot of other developers at the conference to get some great ideas on migrating. So like a JavaScript Luke Skywalker coming back from training with NG Yoda, I've now arrived back in Portland to Shane with a solid plan for migration. So as Shane and I walk towards my favorite artisanal hand-roasted pour-over coffee shop, <laughs> I'm excitedly prattling on to Shane about things like RxJS and observables and banana in a box syntax. That one, that one took some explaining, let me tell you. Uh, when Shane stops me, whoa, 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 Sam, hold up, hold up, reel it in. You've got to help me convince the business that this is actually a good idea. So what do you think the project manager and the product owner care about? You think they care about RxJS? He's got me there. Well, they want new features to get developed. They want bugs to get fixed. They want no disruptions in any of this. And most importantly, they want to make more money and spend less of it. Bingo, says Shane. Classic Shane response, by the way. Uh, so we're going to have to smuggle in the upgrade, Sam, alongside the other projects we already have scheduled for the year. Oh, so you mean like when you're working on a car engine, and you just want to like replace the water pump at the same time as the rest of everything. Right, right, exactly. But my question to you, Sam, is are we going to have to go back and refactor all the legacy code first before we even get started? I sidestep the new Relic developers lining up for brunch at the food carts. Uh, no, no, no. What we're going to do, Shane, is we're going to set up a hybrid app in our next project with ng upgrade, and that way we can start writing new features in Angular now and then go back and refactor the legacy code over time. Shane is thrilled by this. Well, well, that's fantastic, and that means we're going to have fewer bugs with TypeScript, we'll have faster features with Angular, all of which means a smaller backlog and, you know, more money in the budget. We high-five our way into the coffee shop and raise a compostable cup to our planning prowess. Uh, a few months ago, Shane and I got back together uh, to reminisce over a beer uh, about our big upgrade project. And we did a really good job because we were able to uh, set it up for new developers to write new features in Angular now and then go back and refactor the legacy code over time. I also talked to Shane about my plan to move to an organic farm in Washington, but that's a story for another day. I'm Sam Julien. I'm a content engineer at Auth0. I'm an Angular GDE and collaborator. And I created the course UpgradingAngularJS.com. You can find the slides and a discount to the course at samj.im slash ngconf, and follow me on Twitter at samjuline. Thanks very much, and uh, have a great rest of your conference.